YouTube, what is going on? Back with my latest video. So today I'm going to suggest four Funko Pops to you guys that I think you should pick up before it's too late. All four of these Funko Pops are very, very cool and definitely ones I think you should grab into your collection before it's too late and they become grails in the future. And also what I want to do today is announce the winner for this Thanos Funko Pop. So let's get right to it. Alright guys, before we get into this video, please smash that like button down below. Let me know you guys are enjoying these videos, and as always, if you're new to this channel, welcome, and hit the subscribe button down below as well so you're updated to my most recent content, and hit that bell notification so you're alerted as soon as I post a new video. So what I, I like to do on this Speculation Saturday segment is suggest Funko Pops that I think are undervalued and that will go up in value over time and give you guys the reasons why I believe that to be the case. So the first pop I want to suggest, I actually don't have one with me right now, um, and I actually don't have a specific uh, Funko Pop that I want to suggest to you guys, but I strongly suggest you guys pick up some Harry Potter Pops. So the reason why I'm suggesting that is that HBO Max is currently in development of making a Harry Potter live action TV show. So I think that's pretty cool. It, there really hasn't been a catalyst in a long time for Harry Potter stuff to move. Um, they've made so many Harry Potter stuff since the last official Harry Potter movie. I know they had the Fantastic Beasts series that um, I haven't really watched. I know a lot of people weren't really feeling them. Um, but Harry Potter, the last movie was years ago and the pops still seem, sell very, very well. Um, I know I suggested that uh, Tonks pop uh, for Emerald City Comic Con last year and that pops almost tripled in value since it's released and it seems like most times they do a Harry Potter pop it tends to go up in value. Strongly suggest you guys start picking up some. Uh, I did a little bit of research a lot of the pops aren't really vaulted um, so there is a potential for restocks in the future but the older ones don't seem to restock as much so there is a Volta one that I saw for Harry himself, is the Gryffindor Sword one. That one's come down in value because I think it did restock sometime last year. So the price kind of like cut in half, but now it's still about $25. I definitely can think that one can go back up to where it's before, around like the $50 mark. But there's so many other ones that are a good price point to buy right now. And once that TV series hits, I think that you know Harry Potter's gonna have a new audience, a renewed, a renewed audience as well, and the pops are gonna follow suit and go up in value. So I think now's the time to buy Harry Potter pops before you get a trailer, before you get any more casting announcements, before you get anything like that. I think now's the time to pull the trigger. Start off buying the older ones. Uh, you got you know all the old Hot Topic ones. You got some old. Barnes and Noble ones. Um, I don't think you can go wrong buying anything. And the thing is, right now there's no like script or anything as far as what characters are going to be included in this new Harry Potter show. So I, I don't think you can go wrong getting the main characters, you know, Ron, Hermione, Dumbledore, Harry, um, maybe Snape. But any fan favorite, anybody that's popular doesn't really have to be included in the series to still go up or the first places you want to start. And then as it comes closer to seeing how the show is going to go, what direction they want to take, maybe I'll have some more suggestions at that point. But definitely uh, a good time to buy some Harry Potter pops for your collection. All right, guys, so up next, a pop that I've had on my radar for a while. I did purchase it a few months ago because I thought that this would have a lot of potential moving forward and kind of held off on suggesting it to you guys until I uh, made sure that I was right about my suggestion. And I feel pretty confident this is one you want to look out for if you see it out in stores or even online. We have Sneezy from Snow White and Seven Dwarfs. So the reason why I'm suggesting this one is this one's vaulted. Um, not a lot of people knew it was vaulted. It got vaulted kind of quietly. And uh, this pop has a strong potential to go up. Um, I see this one currently going on the Funko app for 12 bucks. So this is one of those instances where you can take advantage of uh, the market. A lot of times what happens is people price the Funko Pops based on Pop Price Guide or the Funko app. You can't find this one for about 12 bucks anywhere. Um, but people will list them from time to time from what I've seen for around that mark. Um, this pop routinely you can find it on eBay, Mercari, whatever, around the $25 to $30 range. And um, that's about the cheapest price you can routinely find them for, but sometimes you can see people slipping up. 
even at the $25 mark, I still think this has a lot of room to go. You have Happy from this uh, line that I think is like a $40 or $50 pop now. You have The Witch from this line that's like a $40 pop now as well. And uh, Sneezy's the next one to follow suit. I, I don't see it being any different than the, the trend of the last two that got vaulted. He's next up. He's the one you're going to want to buy for your collection, especially if you're a Disney collector. Um, see if you can find it for around the $12, $15 mark. Anything less than $25 I think is a win. And um, you just got to be quick on your searches. Um, you know. Facebook Marketplace, your st local stores, whatever you can find. This one, not a lot of people know, is vaulted, and not a lot of people know it's going for more than is listed on the Pop Price Guide or Funko app. So, definitely want to suggest to get in your collection. I, I don't know if you should be too nitpicky. If it's $25, you still might want to pick it up, because um, I can see this one doubling in the, the course of next year. And uh, if you're a Disney collector, this is one that you're going to want to get, especially if you want to complete the dwarf set back there. So, Sneezy, strongly suggest to get this one. Um, I pull the trigger right away if you find one for a good price. All right, guys. So the last two pops I want to suggest for you actually go kind of in tandem and uh, goes with the big event happening tomorrow, the Super Bowl. So pretty obvious picks, but definitely ones I want to reiterate because these things tend to uh, go up pretty quietly anytime um, some news is announced. So we have Tom Brady and Patrick Mahomes. So the GOAT and maybe the future GOAT right here. So uh, drop down the comment section below who you guys are rooting for in the Super Bowl tomorrow. Be really interested to see what the majority of people would like to see. Uh, me, myself, I hope Tom Brady has an extremely great game because I'm a, a Tom Brady fan. But I hope the Bucks lose. Um, I am a Falcons fan, as you guys know, so I don't want to see any division rival win a Super Bowl in our division. Um, but I, I'm a Tom Brady fan, so I don't want to see him uh, fail. So I'm hoping the Chiefs pull out a victory, I think. Take me a while to figure out where I landed on that, but I think I want the Chiefs to win now. So drop down in the comment section below. Um, but both these pops, I think, have a uh, potential to go up further in value. Um, I do actually want to suggest these exact pops as well. There are different uh, versions of Tom Brady, different versions of Patrick Mahomes too. This one's a little bit more limited. This was a Fanatics exclusive. Um, there is a red jersey one of him where his, his, his helmet's off. There's also a red jersey where his helmet's on. The one with the helmet on, I think is trash. Um, I don't think it's a cool, good looking Funko Pop at all. So it could go up, but I don't like it. And the red jersey one um, is a little bit more common so you can find it, but I think that one's gonna go up as well. This is where I think your potential is. It's more rare. Um, it is gonna go up in the same probably percentage wise as the other ones. And uh, it's definitely one you're gonna wanna get to add to your collection because this is going to be the one that people want when it's all said and done because it's the most rare of the Patrick Mahomes Funko Pops. Um, same goes for Brady. Um, there are two other old ones. There's a red jersey one and a blue jersey one um, from like the original line sports ones they did. They're pretty expensive. It's like $100 and $90 I believe for those. This one's a lot less. It's Fanatic exclusive. Um, I don't know if you can go as wrong with the Tom Brady ones. There's, there's a lot of them out there. Um, and with Tom Brady, I think you're going to want to get the ones that haven't hit that peak mark yet. There's a three pack with him with Edelman and Gronk that is extremely expensive. So Tom Brady, you want to kind of get in as low as possible, um, but still get some exclusivity with it. And that's why I think this Fanatics one's a good way to start. So um, both these two pops, these are the suggested ones I have. If you guys think I'm wrong, there's another version of these two pops you think you should get, go ahead and get them. Drop them in the comment section below which one you think. Um, but it tends to be with sports pops, the reason why they go up is accomplishments on the field or the court, which makes a lot of sense. So um, I can see Patrick Mahomes going up more. It did last year when he won the Super Bowl. And uh, just a restock, that's the reason why it kind of went down. But this one's gonna go back up if they win. Just like how the Travis Kelsey, Kelsey one had, I had that one before. Um, I got rid of it, sold it when it was like 40 bucks. And I think I looked on the Funko app today, it was like $180 or something like that. So um, it kind of skyrocketed in value. And um, I can only see them if they win the Super Bowl again, Patrick Mahomes is going to go up. If the Bucks win, Tom Brady's pop is going to go up. Um, they don't have a Buccaneers Tom Brady pop yet. Uh, they'll probably make one, and maybe that one will be uh, sought after. But for right now, the Patriots ones was what people know Tom Brady for. And over time, people are going to start coming around and not hating Tom Brady as much anymore. After his playing days are over, people will uh, acknowledge him for his accomplishments on the field. So I think Tom Brady is a good bet and buy right now, regardless if they win or lose. So let me know in your comments, in the comment section below what you guys think of these suggestions, um, who you're running for in the Super Bowl, and let's get right to the winner of that Thanos Funko Pop. All right, guys, so that giveaway, what you had to do was uh, check out 
uh, the homie Nerdy Momo's channel and also subscribe. So let's see how many people check there out. All right, so we got 44 unique commenters on there. So I appreciate you guys checking her out. I'm hoping you guys enjoyed her channel. And uh, let's see who the winner of that Thanos Funko Pop is. Best of luck to everyone. All right, so we have Alien Obino 420 uh, as the winner of the Thanos Funko Pop. Uh, you have 48 hours to claim the prize. Hit me up on Instagram or via email. All right, so congratulations to Alien Obino 420. I will send this Funko Pop your way. So like I said, guys, let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought about these picks. Um, I definitely think the sneezy ones, one you want to pick up right away um, and take advantage of that opportunity in the market where it's mispriced. And the football ones with it being the Super Bowl tomorrow, I definitely want to think, think you want to pick this ones up right away before it's too late. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. As always, hit that like button, hit subscribe button, check me out on my second channel at Savage Breaks if you're interested in Pokemon cards or sports cards. And also check me out on Instagram at the Pop Savage. You can stay connected there as well. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I do appreciate it. And until next time, I'll see you later.